Oh, mate. I think you could do a compilation of me, like, sniffing my nose. <laughs> oh, be job. Yeah. They're all really, really, really nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. As an Irish chef working in Oslo, I thought I was well accustomed to Norwegian food. But I was about to discover how little I actually knew about the true Norway. I feel like we're going to war. And all the wonderful treats it has to offer. Mm. My mission through Norway would take me from the clear blue waters of the fjords. Got loads of stuff! To the Arctic plains of the Sami. So, you want a taste? And all along the way, I ate as much Norwegian food as I possibly could. Delicious. 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 And in the end, there was nothing else for me to do than to let Norway take over both my Irish common sense and my taste buds. My name's Hallie, and this is Munchie's Guide to Norway. Oh, it's so cool! It's really sore, though. The spikes are sticking in. The capital of Norway has seen a culinary revolution with more chefs using high quality, local and organic food, including the world's northernmost three Michelin star restaurant, Maemo, whose owner and chef is listed as one of the most influential in the world and where I'm also employed as a sous chef. Oh, Hallie, my boy. <laughs> I wanted to say that. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. fine. <laughs> Your mom is not going to get angry with me? No, I think my mom would be very proud. You know almost as good as me is what, what we're about here. So you can tell me, what is this? So this, this is a, a duck foot. This mm -hmm. is coming from a farm called Holtgaard. It's well cooked and then dried and then fried. So the gelatins act like this crazy thing and they puff up really aggressively and a very nice aerated texture. There has to be a charm and a story and it has to represent where we are. Mm. For your job here, it's almost essential that you can decode the country where you are. Of course. Because of the work And get do. a more of a yeah. connection to it. Like, yeah, get it like... under your skin. You create some sort of personal connection with what you serve. Mm. And that is the ultimate foundation of this restaurant. Yeah. So this is duck food, duck liver, fermented cherry. In one bite. Uh, or two, you decide. Mmm, nice. That that's pretty spectacular. Yeah. But Norway is more than just fine dining. For many Norwegians, it's just about simple comfort food. What is your favorite Norwegian food? That would probably be a uh, lapskaus. A potato ball. Shitkaki. Pinnekjøk. Just meatballs. Meatballs, yeah. yeah. Lutefisk. Lutefisk. Cod tongue. Tongue of the cod, it actually tastes very good. Grandiosa. <laughs> Norwegians eat more frozen pizza per head of capita than anywhere else in the world. In a country of four and a half million people, over 25 million pizzas are eaten every year. That's a fucking lot of pizzas. Now, you can't go wrong with meatballs and frozen pizza, but what would be the fun in that? I wanted to taste the real Norway and all the glorious produce its raw nature dishes up. And since seafood is so important in Norway, the first place I wanted to go was Freya, an archipelago where they have the perfect conditions for a sought after little creature, the scallop. I'm off to meet Frank. He's a German lad. And he's got a bunch of friends who are going to show me how to go scallop diving. Hi, hi. Hello. Frank. Hallie, nice pleasure. Fine. Nice boat, board. man. Juice and tack. My cool. Hi, guys. This is Nicholas from Cyprus. Perfect. Mirko from Italy. Hi, nice to meet you. And Tina from Slovenia. Yeah. Hallie, nice to meet you. Oh, good mix. So yeah. you see an international team here. Yeah, yes. I like that. <laughs> So on a good day, how many scallops would you catch? It's around uh, 500, 600 kilo. And uh, we can make also long trips in um, more to the northeast. Yeah. And then we come back with one and a half ton, something like this. Oh my yeah. God. So what's with these boots? Doesn't look like you could swim very far in those. We walk underwater. You walk We're on the bottom? just walking on the bottom because uh, scallops are still laying in the sand. Perfect. And uh, yeah, you have to pick it up only and uh, no point to swim. Yeah. Finally, one bag has around between 40 and 60 kilos. Yeah. And it's also not possible to swim. Yeah. You know this. <laughs> of course. Can you read me? Watch that. It feels like that movie, The Abyss, where they're going down to find out what that mad creature under the sea is. They got the comms, they got the cameras. It's a little bit scary. Diver's leaving surface. You see? Video. Yeah. Is this all about that? That's a scallop, yeah, yeah, full. Fucking shit. Now we have here eight meter depth. Yeah. This is full of scallops. 
Oh my god. Excuse my language, but they're fucking everywhere, yeah. What makes diving by hands better than dredging? I can or... tell you, because from the low, it's uh, only allowed to pick up scallops bigger than 10 centimeters, and the machine can't see if they're yeah. less or more than 10 centimeters. And uh, yeah, this is our future, because if we pick all scallops, also the smallest one, then uh, we, we make our future broken. And... You say you can grab like 500 kilos of scallops maybe in a good dive. Yeah. So is that sustainable? This place now today, yeah. you can pick maybe 100, 150 kilos for one diver. Whoa. And next year you come back and there again, we are here still in a channel. You can see it on the map and the water change every six hours. Okay. With with, uh, with high water and with low water. Yeah. And this is what the scallops really like. Yes, one moment. Can you send down the hook? Yeah, the first the first bag is full and we sent down now a hook. He connected and then we can pick it up. And we have our first 40, 50 kilos. Oh, fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Holy moly, man. Oh. It's not the biggest size, but no. it's medium. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, huh? Yeah. Still alive. It's still pumping Best away. sushi of the world. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> I see you smiling. <laughs> it's just kicking in your mouth. Like, feel all the ripples of all the fibers. Can I try some of the eggs? No, I don't like it. Can I try? Texturally not that great. I like the muscle from scallops. That's, that's it. The most important. <laughs> scallops don't get better than this, do they? Out in the water, the sun is shining. And I'm eating one of the most delicious products in the entire world. Just, just try it yourself. Be, well, it's grand. I've eaten loads. Come on. We're all sharing now. Mate, I am going to be sick to my belly with scallops. They say you can have too much of a good thing, but I'm not so sure it's true. I am not a crook. After a day well spent at sea, it was time to kick back and enjoy the fruits of our hard work. So Frank invited me back to his house for a real fisherman's meal. You start cooking? Yeah, come on then. Yeah. You're going to show me what to do? No, you can help me. Yeah, okay, perfect. <laughs> We're going to cook some scallops now. Yes. I You're going to show me, uh, what is it, a classic how, German how, method? How we or? do it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. No point. It looks With... professional what you're doing. Yeah. Perfect. I, I... Yeah, it's just... It's, it's weird, I actually, I, <laughs> I actually sometimes get paid to make yeah. food. Yeah. White pepper. A little sprinkle. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I take some cream. Just go for it. Yeah, all over. Oh, complete. yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and make nice. Is that loads or more? No, more, more. More, 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 more. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean. All right. So okay, we next? have cream on it and yes. then cheese. Sprinkle of cheese, just. Completely full and then it have to be at least nice coarse. Yeah. This looks absolutely yeah. filthy. I like the idea of using the shells as well. Oh, we're getting fancy now. I was thinking to make some, uh, what call it? Perfect. I suppose a new method of cooking salves, often you'd have a cured one or it'd be dried. Uh, this is no nonsense, no frills. This is like high calorie delicious things that are about to happen here. I, I suppose it holds values in traditional French cooking as well, no? Scallop gratin in the shell. Don't have to clean up either, you just throw in the bin at the end. Take away the water, take only beer on the table. Yes. <laughs> For the kids as well, no? Yeah, the kids. Yeah, they're German kids, so. Zwei, drei. Oh, it's absolutely delicious, isn't it? Super garlicky, cream, cheese, scallops. You can't really beat it, like. No. Cheers, lads. Thank you very much Scott. for having me. Scott. 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 How did it take you so long to open that beer, man? You have to look in the eyes. Mm. Yeah, my mum always said, like, if you don't look in the eyes, you got seven years bad sex. Yeah. <laughs> and my wife is coming back to us now. <laughs> Come on. Can I grab another beer, Frank? Because I do. Perfectly. If there are more, you can pick up one for me. Yeah, I will, yeah, of course I will. <laughs> uh, it, it's quite nice spending the day with these guys. I know this is like a Munchie's Guide to Norway, but I'm surrounded by foreigners and I've never felt more welcome. Frank has let me into his house, he's got his kids here, 
all the guys from the boats. And it's just very lovely, to be honest. I feel uh, very much at home. And I'm going to finish my dinner and drink my beers. And bring one to Frank. Frank and his team were definitely the experts on getting fresh seafood off the ocean floor. But I wanted to meet the chefs who take fresh Norwegian seafare to the next level. And I knew just the guy. Stravanger in the south of Norway has become famous for its inventive food culture. It is also home to Sabi Omakase, a creation of sushi chef Roger Asakil, who has a new style of sushi that only uses fresh Norwegian produce from around this beautiful country. I even heard one of his specialities are the fresh scallops from Foya. Lucky for me, Roger agreed to show me a thing or two about his one-of-a-kind sushi restaurant. I'm really looking forward to today, Roger. Uh, What's the plan? I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, how, uh, how we're doing it here. Mm -hmm. This is more of the, what we call the traditional Japanese, mm -hmm. but the touch of uh, Norwegian products. Yeah. I'm going to show you a, a jacket for you. So that are we, we getting are, involved, yeah, are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to show yeah, you how, okay. how we do it, OK? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fish and rice and everything. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Take fancy. Yes. Yeah. Learn you how to do yeah, it. Yeah, that'd be great. One little nipple out there. Perfect. And then, now you're a sushi chef. OK, already. OK, <laughs> yeah, that, that was quick. <laughs> this is the salmon that I'm going to show you. OK, fantastic. This Big Norwegian salmon. boy. Yes, six, seven kilo. And then you, you cut like this. Yeah, off with his head. Straight through. OK, nice. See? Yeah, lovely. Yeah. You need to master this one. Yeah. Cutting the fish and uh, holding, holding it and how you, how you use your knife so that you don't destroy the meat of the fish. You see, I never touch the, the salmon at all. Yeah. Only the, the tip of, the, of my knife. Oh, a slick maneuver, man. Now it's your turn. So behind the fin? Yes, the head first. Yeah, and straight down. Yeah. Using a lot of power, you know? You see yeah. how, you, how I do it? I do. Jane Mac, maybe I need to work out a little bit more. <laughs> you don't press the salmon yeah. too hard. Yeah. You're destroying it. You hold here. Hold the flap. In. And then... I'm trying to copy you, Roger, but it's just not working out at all for me. It's supposed to be like that. Yeah. Mm. I don't have that ability whatsoever. <laughs> Look how, well, you know, I'm the stupid old Irish boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're going to eat, huh? Yeah, I'm super excited. Now I have the scallops from Froya. Whoa. To introduce the Norwegian produce in sushi are really, really exciting because it's never been done before. Roger, you tell us a little bit about why you got into sushi and... I was supposed to study uh, criminology, but uh, suddenly I met one friend of mine that working in a sushi restaurant in, Os in Oslo. And then I got excited. So this is the herring then? Yes. We use 90% local products from very near from here. That's a good produce for me. Oh, this one looks gorgeous. Oh! <laughs> I got distracted, sorry. This is a kombu chile. I'm gonna wrap it in a four years old soya. Wow. And then you have the sake, and mm -hmm. then you have the zuke. Enjoy. Oh, definitely will. Fancy spoon as well. Yowzers. Is so this from... is the langoustine. Yes. Delicious. Yeah. I'm going to smash this one. I'm absolutely dying for it. Mmm. I have uh, the, the reindeer. Yeah, from I'm really Kano. looking forward to that. Yeah. Then I'm gonna so serve to you. So this is the reindeer from up north? Yes, mm. called Tokeno. And would it be traditional in Japan to serve meat on Not this? really, this yeah. one is more of a Nordic. Yeah. I smoke it for six hours. With cherry, cherry wood? Cherry wood, yeah. Perfect, we're really looking forward to this one. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That was absolutely delicious. Thank you so much, Roger. I really enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. And seeing you act and seeing you do your job, you get that other sense, like a bit more of connection of the food that you're mm. eating when you see you prepare it in front of you. Now you see how is it, uh, how to be a sushi chef? Yeah, that's why I'm not a sushi chef. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, okay. man. I'll give you a knuckle. In the next episode, I'll hike an epic spot on the west coast called Pulpit Rock with the first Norwegian woman to summit Mount Everest. It's a little bit windy up at the top. A bit. <laughs> is this at the edge of what I would oh, recommend? Man, it is inside. And dive deeper into old Norwegian food traditions. It smells like a bit like cow poo. Mm -hmm. In a good way. <laughs> in a good way. And if I'd been the factory owner here now, seeing this Disaster. result, I would do, do it again.